No, I feel like the one the thing that um, a lot of people or a lot of Tongans have in common um, is definitely just not being able to speak your mind. Uh, I felt like my parents, I wasn't allowed to speak my mind like as freely as I was, um, mm -hmm. as I thought, but I feel like my parents, they, in the years, like later years, like within these past few years, mm -hmm. they've been a little bit more open-minded. Mm -hmm. And when when I grow up, when I was growing up um, and I wasn't able to like say what I wanted or say how I feel or so somebody like what they're doing is like hurting me and like making me sad. Um, I just bottled it all up mm -hmm. and I felt like I started snapping at people, um, not in a good way. Like, I felt like it was someone who I wasn't, like, who I ever thought I would be, just, like, being really rude, mm -hmm. um, snapping at people for the wrong times or making, but I felt like it was because of all that built-up emotion yeah. that I yep. had. Yeah. Um, it was really, I felt like it was really bad. And I started speaking my mind more in the last few years i want to say mm -hmm. like after i turned 25 i really yeah. feel like that was like the moment where i just stopped caring but i care you know <laughs> but i just stopped caring about like what people think mm -hmm. um or just, just speaking my mind a lot more mm -hmm. um which definitely does help definitely talking it out with people um when i opened up about my depression about suffering de uh, with depression a lot of my cousins and close friends, I didn't know that they were going through the same thing I was going through. Yeah. But they all started like just texting me, hey, uh, I, none, you know, none, um, I'm going through this too. You're not alone, blah, blah, blah. And definitely like o opening up to people, it definitely, um, it definitely saw, let me see that people around me were going through the same thing and I really wasn't alone. I know it's uh it's funny when you said that like, for me or like you know uh, when we go to depression we think nobody's going through it because <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> you know yeah. as, I think uh, uh as Polynesia we I think we, we we really make good spies because like we know how to hide our, <laughs> mm -hmm. our emotions <laughs> mm -hmm. you're right right exactly <laughs> lie detector uh, test <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh that's nothing easy <laughs> yeah <laughs> um. Yeah, but uh, yeah, the thing is, like, it's always good. That's that's something I always want to encourage uh, kids out there. Is like, you're not alone, and um, uh, a lot of there's a lot of us. Honestly, I feel like I feel like everyone's going through it. Yeah, I feel mm -hmm. like uh, even our I feel like even our parents go through it um, because like, but they just don't show it to us. And then uh, mm -hmm. you know, for us, we know we just kind of replicate what they show us. Okay, my. Mm -hmm. No emotions, yeah. <laughs> cold, cold blooded, no, no affection. All right, I'll get right, you. right. I got you. Got you. Got you. Got your mom and dad. Which hand? <laughs> <Back> hand. <laughs> That's funny. I always share this story uh, like uh, to everyone, but like you know, um, you know, growing up, you know, I, I grew up in like a traditional uh, Tongan house. I grew up with my grandma, and my grandma was very just, like strict mm -hmm. and a uh, very tough loving, you know. And uh, I don't know if you, I don't know if you ever experienced this. You ever, you ever, you ever get, be, you ever get disciplined by your, by your parents, or you know, was grandma was for me. But, and then you cry, and then they, and then they tell you to stop crying, or they hurt you more if you keep crying. Oh, of course. <laughs> which is, of which course. Was for me, was, was I always, was, I was always confused. Like, why are you telling me to stop crying, but you're hitting me? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> or fix your face. I'm like, yeah, fix your face. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> but it's funny is because uh so you know as a child I realized okay when I get disciplined, uh if I if I stop crying, if I learn not to cry no more, or uh they, they'll just stop hitting me, you know. The more I cry, the more you know, I'll get disciplined more. So I learned like I learned I literally learned not to cry no more. But which is now I'm an adult, I can't cry no more. <laughs> oh really? Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> like I, it's, it's just I, I don't I can't cry like even in moments like I should even in moments I should be crying or mm -hmm. and then like, some of my friends are like dude are you I tell you what's what's wrong with you like why you're uh -huh. so cold blood cold blooded no dude I'm not cold blooded mm -hmm. I'm not unemotional it's just I've been conditioned I've been 
traumatized right. kid. You've been trained for this. <laughs> I've been trained. I've been trained like a CIA agent. Right. <laughs> not not to cry. Like I just uh-huh. I inside I feel the emotion. If inside I feel I feel it, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. my but my face is just mm-hmm. no. They right, don't work no more, right? <laughs> Disconnected. <laughs> Disconnected. <laughs> yeah. So I can't cry because. I can't cry because of yeah my tongue and uh, discipline upbringing, <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, but, but mental health is something that we go through, and I always want to tell kids like reach out. Like, uh, did you um you know what you know because I know it can be tough, but what made you like come out? I want to ask you like what gave you the confidence to come out? Because I know that's really really hard for us that's going through depression to open up and really be vulnerable and let people know. But I want to ask you like what inspired you to like you know what I'm gonna let people know about my depression. Um. It was that it was the night that I came out to my parents and I was so sad. Yeah. Um, and you know, I like had a lot of like, like, I mean, I had a lot of like suicide like thoughts. Gotcha, um, gotcha. So like, um, I don't think I don't know like what would have happened if I didn't like reach out to my cousin. But it's just like, you know, I'm just like, oh my gosh, things would be easier if I just like ended it all. Um, yeah. I I wouldn't, I don't know if I have it in me at this point in my life to like go to that step, yeah. you know. Um, but, you know, some like it's sometimes it's just like what I think of, like it's not like I want to think of it, you know. But what, after I told my cousin, well, you know, she's not my t- cousin, but she's Tongan, so I call her cousin. Yeah. <laughs> <We're all cousins. laughs> um, after I told her, it felt like a lot of weight was lifted off of my shoulders. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just was like, you know what? I just want to be open and honest about it. Uh, I didn't realize it was going to like uh, affect, or I didn't realize the response I was going to get from it. You know, um, and I didn't want people to feel sorry for me, yeah. like for sharing it. I just wanted to like understand, share it, and get it you off don't. my chest. Oh, get, get and, up, get off here, yeah, let it go. I'll catch it. Yeah, and um, it was, you know, I, I'm glad that I did. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes, you know, a lot of Tongans, or I don't want to speak for all Tongans, but you know, sometimes like. I don't want to show emotion because I have too much pride. You know, yeah. I, <laughs> I want to seem like I'm okay all the time. Yeah. Um, I don't want to seem like I let haters affect me, but you know, yeah. they do. And you know, I cry, you know, uh, sorry that you don't, but, <laughs> 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 but um, it was definitely just, it made me feel a lot better uh, just opening up about it after I, after how I felt, telling my cousin about it yeah so yeah i think that's something that uh we all go through like you know we uh because I, I i totally get what you feel like you know we don't you know well the, i feel like the, i feel like a part of the reason why we you know not only our pride to be you know not to look weak but also like you know our community is very judgmental <laughs> very, what <laughs> very <laughs> judgmental so, so so it's, I feel like our pride big, plays a big part of it, but we just don't want to be talked about. We just don't want to be like trashed. Because right, uh, right. I, I, I see that all the time with the community or something happens to somebody or they make a mistake or like, you know, they're not living the life of what the tongue and daughter or son should be, man. Everybody starts talking about you. And mm-hmm. then nobody, nobody wants to go through that. Nobody, mm-hmm. and nobody wants yeah. to go through that. 